back after its one week hiatus um i missed infinite <laughs> not gonna lie i was hoping that i would already have seen this week's episode so i would be into next week's episode where we're actually getting some fire action popping off um but regardless we got to take it one episode at a time and we just learned how uh this arena or this whole entire battle itself Seemingly is going to be something much, much bigger than it's actually leading up to be, all thanks to a certain someone, aka a penguin, um, which I think it's getting actually kind of scary, um, because as we're seeing it now, there's a good chance that everybody who's dressed up in animal costumes are in on this, are trying to push this narrative forward of... A, we're uh, going to attack at this time, or we're going to be able to do what we need to do th here. So it's gotten to a point now where we can pretty much say no one's going to be necessarily safe uh, in this arena and stuff like that unless you're ready to fight. And we've already seen just how powerful one character is at the very beginning, who I think is going to show up in the arena, and I think is their main focus or something. Um, being this weird scissor hand, really weirded, bladed, monster almost looking thing. Um, not only did this guy who planned out like an attack on the ridge, like he was up high and they were watching their transport go by and he had this complete plan worked out on how to really approach them and really found out quickly this thing had already known about them for too long and already approaches them which before it goes up to where they actually are it somehow steals this man's heart and kills him from a distance like a ridiculously far distance um straight up does a kilowa pulls the heart out without really leaving any um trace of like oh this is happening nah just just boom bam it's over <laughs> and squeezes squeezes the heart and blows it up so that's that's pretty ridiculously powerful when it comes down to already just showcasing what's capable of different types of beans in this show um because i do not believe this is like a human or even a player at this point i mean it could be and that that would be weird and i would love to hear that but until then, I'm just going to believe it's some weird, like, broken monster for now. Um, so, with everything popping off, we get an understanding of where our main character kind of wants to go in the future of his leveling and of his grinding. He's trying to figure out why he's not as good as he would want to be right now. And the main reason for that is he's... His, it's his job, um, in my opinion. Like, I'm pretty sure if he picked a job that was more focused or more balanced in everything, like agility, endurance, strength, vitality, and all that stuff, he would, uh, and intelligence, I believe is one, um, he would be in a better position. But because that happens, you're kind of just stuck, right? Like, you're kind of just stuck in a position where you have to guess and choose. Oh, it's double double damage. Gotcha. Um, and that was cool to see because guess what? As soon as we know somebody is um, about to make some type of crazy move, uh, when we we're our characters were kind of listening in on their brother and this lion guy, um, it comes out to be the guy that is ridiculously powerful, one of the strongest people in the game are in one of these suits right like that's what truly freaked me out about this is why would someone that ridiculously strong be siding with this attack you know this overall thing that could pop off at any time so that's kind of where i'm uh i'm placing my money is it's just gonna be a bunch of op people wearing these uh character or these costumes for instance the penguin 
what seems like he's going to be super broken. Uh, the guy who has the mech suit kind of just looks up to this guy like he's clearly the superior of the two. So that's all. And he says he wants to like grant his wishes and stuff like that. So we already know the mobile suit guy who can turn it into ice is already a problem. Um, oh, God. Let's go. We also know... Um, we also know his brother has some like correlation with all these well maybe all these suit wearers right like he's the main suit wearer that we've at first ever seen and then all of a sudden the penguin guy shows up making our guy have like these weird dog ears and stuff like that so i don't know i really don't know where this show is going and i like that aspect but I do hope these fights are more um, telling than the first one we saw. Like, he's like, oh, so those are their ultimate skills. And they use their ultimate skills in such lame ways. Just a beam struggle, which didn't seem like it had any real, like, strategy or tactics that needed to be implemented behind it. It was just like, flex your strength and whoever stronger wins. Um, which didn't really seem like everything that was happening in the battles that he was having you know so that's kind of telling of also how much detail they put into every battle and not just one or two um it looks like you know whenever he actually gets in a fight they do a little bit more detail give him a little bit more strategy to implement because last time i checked if you throw him in the ring he's just going to do counter absorption and get stronger <laughs> right like he's gonna have a much a stronger attack so um that seems a lot better than what we're already seeing in these matches so i'm interested in all of the powers the ultimate powers what what do they actually do what do they actually look like because one was like dark magic and wind and another one was hot molten gold <laughs> right like that's so random gold being your ultimate it's random but cool like i like it um so that's where this show's character is kind of showing it's just it's giving me a whole bunch of uh vibes that they can just do whatever they want with the power system or they can make anything a power like oh this guy can throw out cell phones a million cell phones or form the cell phones into a sword you know it just seems like that type of random stuff that they can do at any time which is fun to me um which i don't mind watching so Hope you guys are enjoying Infinite. Uh, definitely let me know in the comments down below if you are or if you aren't. Uh, but yeah, I think something ridiculous is coming around the corner. But at the same time, I hope it takes a little bit because we know the one of the strong guys with the chains is showing up. After seeing his first battle with the giant like paladin guy and destroying him. I'm just very curious to seeing what he's going to bring all together at the end of the series, or at least at the end of this battle, and if everything starts going off the rails, which side he's going to to, to what side is he going to choose, and what side is everybody going to choose, right? Like, who's the bad and who's the good, and that's truly, truly what I want to see, so... Well, that being said, everybody, I hope you have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. I am your boy, the Anime G, and I will definitely talk to you sooner than later, or maybe just tomorrow, because I don't think I'll have anything really to talk about today. So, yeah, take care, everybody, and peace.